Welcome to tutorial number 15 of the blog marketing series. And in this one, we're going to be discussing getting the word out. And this is going to be divided up into two different areas. Um, today, we're going to be talking about burning the feed. All right, now I know that sounds kind of complicated, but it's actually fairly simple once you know what you're doing and where to go. And in search engine optimization and related topics, there is no bigger scam than the incredible and phenomenal number of websites out there that are devoted to selling you the opportunity to have your website listed in 5,000 completely insignificant search engines. So disregard all those offers. I know you get them in the e in your in emails in your inbox all the time. You see them. You know they want to charge you fifty dollars to be listed in the search engine. Well, frankly, all those offers are and all those companies are just a big old piece of junk. So completely disregard and. Really, all you need to do is list your feed for free. And we're going to talk about how to do that in this particular tutorial. At this time, I'd like you to go with me to a website called feedburner.com. And 10 years from now, I might be telling you to go to different websites. But as of today, as of 2007, there are three main websites that you should definitely have your feed listed in and or that you should have your feeds syndicated to. And if you do so, you will more likely than not have outstanding results on Google and Yahoo. Now, all right, so it's asking me start burning, start feed burning now. Type your feed or blog URL below. Okay, so we're going to type in Internet Marketing Strategy Blog. Okay. All right, now it's asking me which feed. All right, so apparently WordPress is doing its job. It's already giving off feeds. Feed Burner went and evaluated uh, Internet Marketing Strategy Blog, and this is what's being given off. So any of these will work. So RSS2 will be just fine. All right. So great, fantastic. They're ready to burn the feed. All right. This time, you, you'll have to create an account. So um, you'll need to do that. And I'll go ahead and log in myself. And we'll get this feed um, syndicated to FeedBurner. All right, pretty simple. So now you should have your feed completely syndicated, and uh, and now we're ready to move on to our second website, and that website is Technorati. So I'd like you to log into Technorati.com. In 2007, Technorati is probably the most important blogging search engine. Uh, and, and blog locating post locating directory in the world and any major and most minor blogs are going to be syndicated or their content is going to be syndicated through this particular website so you'll go down the center of the page here and you'll see this link for claim my blog and it's very simple same process just sign in and and uh, once you do that, I'll, I'll meet you on the inside. And once you follow all the steps and sign up for the right to claim your blog, you should receive a little bit of code. And now we're going to talk about what to do with that code. While we, you were going through the process of signing up for Technorati, likely you saw a code there that you could insert into your WordPress dashboard in order to make it ping Technorati. Now what that means is every time you post something to your blog it will automatically 
tell Technorati, and that way they can syndicate your content out, which is very good for you. So what you'll need to do, as you can see, I've already logged in to my dashboard. Go to Options, and then click on Writing, and go down here at the bottom, see Update Services, and the code that Technorati gave you was this one and you can go ahead and just hit update so now every time you post something to your blog it will automatically update in Technorati and also as a note when you claimed your blog in Technorati it asked about a number of keywords those are fairly important because you need to take some time and think about those keywords because Technorati operates on the concept of tagging so those are tags that people will use to find your blog so if people want to know about for instance as I've used this example in, in the past extreme sports so they'll go to um, the look for these extreme sports tag in Technorati and if you have that tag if you've listed that that key those keywords as one of your tags um, that identifies your blog then your blog entry is more likely to come up higher in the Technorati ranking so that's the way that works so take some time to think about all the many keywords that could be important for you and someone finding your blog. And now we're going to move on to one final and definitely the third most important and secondary website that I would definitely think about posting in. So if you will please go to icerocket.com. Icerocket is the official blog search engine of Mark Cuban. If you know Mark Cuban, he started this. And um, anyway, so all you'll need to do here, this is actually an up and coming blog search engine. So, like I say, if you're with FeedBurner and you're having your feed syndicated through FeedBurner and you're having your feed syndicated through Technorati, you're in good shape. But, you know, to be on the safe side, why not syndicate it in one more place? So I would go to the Ice Rocket page and then click on Ping Us. And you can see here that you, you already know from the feed burner uh, syndication, you already know the URL of your RSS feed. So you can just enter that right here. And then you can do the exact same thing that you could do with Technorati. You could automatically ping Technorati. So just grab this little piece of code go back to your actually grab that correctly go back to your dashboard and do exactly what you did with Technorati so you're back under options click on the writing tab and finally just enter that in update options and it's that simple that's all there is to it and now you have a properly syndicated feed and now the world is gonna know every single time you post something to your blog thank you very much for listening to this tutorial and I look forward to speaking with you in part two about getting the word out about your blog